Brown. <laughs> Five inches taller. <laughs> I could be on the Lakers team. <laughs> Five inches taller. I could have been a movie star. <laughs> my darling, if I were king, I would give you my throne, darling. Or another movie star, Tarwin. This is Scarlet. I don't give a damn. <laughs> uh, I can't find a thing. I was upstairs and I was looking for. Hey, wait a minute. Am I shrinking or are you getting taller? <laughs> High heeled Italian boots. So what? Everybody's wearing them. At 65? <laughs> no, at 495 at Kenny's on the highway. <laughs> How'd you get them so cheap? Truck ran over. <laughs> Man, would you look at them heels? <laughs> you gonna be walking downhill all night. See, these boots ain't made for walking. They made for standing alongside of. At least that's what the ad said. Now you can be taller than she is. I don't believe you, Pop. You know, you're ridiculous. You're going to all this trouble just because the Barracuda's coming here to dinner tonight. There's no call down to that. Now, you be nice to her at dinner. And speaking of dinner, how much did you pay for that rump roast? Five seventy-five. So what? Nothing but the best, huh? Well, it lasts all week. See, the Gallopin' Gourmet show yesterday was called How to Stretch Your Rump Roast. So that's what I'm going to do, stretch my rump roast. Listen, let me fix this. <laughs> You know, you look ridiculous in them shoes. <laughs> you tilt it forward, you know. You're liable to fall right on your rump roast. <laughs> that ain't, ain't funny, no. Let me get up. <laughs> oh, wow. Help me get out of these things so I can finish cooking dinner. Hey, Pop, how come you're doing all the cooking tonight? Because Donna's working hard. And stop asking so many questions. Bring that wheelchair over here. Say, what's this old thing doing in here? Oh, Donna's bringing one of her patients for dinner tonight. A patient? Uh-huh. What's she bringing a patient over here for? Well, he's supposed to be with his son-in-law, but he's out of town, so Donna's looking after him. You know she's a practical nurse. Yeah. Well, that's all we need is a sick old man over here for dinner. <laughs> Whatever you do, Pop, don't give him no rice pudding. Now, I can't stand it when them old men get rice pudding on their chin. It looks nasty. <laughs> We won't have to worry about that. We'll just put him in the wheelchair, and I'll give him a lamb chop bone to gnaw on. Well, where do you want this chair? Put it over there by the table. Oh, no, I don't want to look at that old man when I eat. Well, put it back there by that folding screen, and then when he dozes off, we can hide him. Boy, Pop, I see that barracuda's really got you wound around her little finger. Listen, Lamont, you call down a barracuda again, and I'll take this... Italian boot and cave in your pasta for zoo. There's your fiance now. You try to be nice to her tonight, you hear? Mm. I mean, just for a change, try to be nice to her. Donna. Good evening, Fred. Good evening, Lamont. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Mr. Wilcox will be in in a minute. Oh, well, maybe the old timer's having trouble getting out the car. I'll go get him a hand. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Be of good cheer. How's good is here? <laughs> Mr. Wilcox, may I present my fiance, Fred Sanford, and his son Lamont. Hey, Lamont, how do you do? Fred, Osgood Wilcox. Yes. Yeah. How do you do? Wow. Oh. You're in pretty good shape. Indeed I am. I did 30 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, and jogged three miles this morning before breakfast. What did you do? You read, dear Abby, stood up too fast and almost fainted. 